so the last few weeks have been really crazy, and Talia came up with a great idea of going to the circus. I had a good idea. She did. So the circus is in Colorado Springs currently, and that's where we're headed. So the circus we're going to is um, used to be a lot smaller than it is now, and it's actually based in Florida, and their first um, performance was done in California in 2014. Um, it's called the Ven Venardos Circus. Venderos? Ven oh, Venderos, thank you. Venderos Circus. Anyway, the um, whole circus is family owned and they have a tent. It holds three, 300 people and first come, first serve. So we got our tickets online. We just have to get there. And nobody is more than 30 feet from the stage. So I'm excited. So it's not a massive circus. And there's no animals there, but they have um, acrobats and aerialists and magic and feats of danger. I'm excited. So before leaving the house, I made sure Talia checked the website to see if I was able to take video. And what was interesting is a lot of these places don't want you taking video because they have copyright this, that, and the other thing, they just don't want you to take video. But with the circus being the way it is and it's dying off, they actually encourage you to take video, which is super awesome because I want to capture the moment and share the experience with you guys. So we're hoping to get some awesome shots and show you what the circus is all about in 2021. Look, there's the tent. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, here we 
Denardo Circus. Thank you very much for that screen. My name is Kevin Denardo, ringmaster and proprietor. This is our first time in Colorado. It's been absolutely amazing so far. This is our sixth week. And I've met so many people from this community. We were in Littleton for two weeks, I've been in Longmont. And uh, I want to tell you all, thank you. On behalf of myself and my amazing little team, after a year and a half of doing something completely different, to be here with you and see you with your families and to do the thing we love. Uh, it gives me a lot of hope for the future, even though things seem uncertain sometimes. I really am grateful for your presence here tonight. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the greatest show around. It's a treasure trove of talents that will surely us down. From feats in the sky and the defy all reason. To pies in the face, well, it's open season. We're very glad you're here with us and can't wait to share all the mind-expanding wonders we've in store. So take it in. Feel that spark. As we begin to embark on adventures where your fondest dreams will soar, oh yes, I promise you all this. And a real amaze will delight, will explore and accept another Nardo circus. We'll be bold, no restraint, Grandma Circus, we ain't suit. You'll guess, then you'll guffaw, then you might even guffaint. Oh, cue the drums, cue the brass, cue the talents on mass. All this passing parade of perfection. Come along with us for just a whiff of danger. Maybe plus a whiff of something stranger. Take it from me, Evan, you never will see such thrills, truly sublime.
bright spot like this, son, you can ask is, how bad do I want to get out of here? Ladies and gentlemen, I can see
at home in the circus was fabulous amazing it was so fun it was more than i thought it would be because the circus we saw in texas was all right but not anything to shake a stick at but this was quite the show from the storytelling of the um ringmaster and how he got his start to and the music was very broadway which is what they you know that's what they do they bring broadway to the circus it was a different spin but i thought what was really cool is just hearing the story how the ringmaster for the circus goes from working for barnum and bailey's the big for four years he was their ringmaster yeah to starting his own company and making his way across the country doing his own thing and it's his first time in colorado so that was fun to hear about yeah it was just a very different vibe it wasn't a big production it was a very small group but it was quality and i think that's what was really cool it was really elegant and funny and i think they, they did a great job it was a good balance of elegant and funny and like impressive and wow and all those things you expect to get from the circus so to see like a 2021 version of something go absolutely right i 100 percent recommend i can't pronounce it then then um Verano's, Ver- hold on i don't know hold on vanderos 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 circus that's the one you want so if they come to your city please do them go a- check them out please support them because they are keeping the circus alive and they are doing an amazing job of it and the ringmaster is so genuine his story made me want to cry and what was also cool is that at the end of the show he let everyone take a picture individually with them and he said that they wouldn't leave until the last person got their photo i thought that was so nice but so if y'all like the video please like subscribe and make sure to use the hashtag Vandero Circus. Yes. So, please, share support this. The circus, support the circus and... More more specifically, support them because they, they did a fantastic they did. job. So, check it out, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one.